The beauty of Lake Joseph belies the tragedy that played out here in August near Kevin O'Leary's cottage, where two boats crashed under the stars, killing Susanna Brito and Gary Poltash. O'Leary's wife, Linda, was charged with careless operation under the Shipping Act. The driver of the other boat, Richard Rue, was charged with failure to run navigation lights. Both are contesting the charges. The search warrant documents unsealed in court Monday after an application by CBC News provide new details. Police write, Mrs. O'Leary was administered an alcohol screening device test and registered an alert. She was subsequently served a three-day driver's license suspension. Mrs. O'Leary claims to have consumed a drink of vodka following the collision and prior to the breath test. O'Leary could not remember who handed her the drink of vodka following the collision. In an email, O'Leary's lawyer, Brian Greenspan, says his client was not intoxicated at the time of the crash. Linda O'Leary was not impaired. She is a highly experienced boater who was proceeding cautiously with due care and attention. She collided with a totally unlit boat on a moonless night, which was invisible to any prudent operator. No one could have avoided the collision. The documents also reveal more about what was happening on the other boat before it was struck. There were 12 people on board. They had just finished a dinner party. In the documents, police allege the navigational lights were turned off and the engine was stopped for the purpose of stargazing and that the victim vessel had no lights on at the time of the collision. Police say they have video evidence taken from the O'Leary cottage. Summer is over, but questions linger about what happened here that night. Answers will have to wait until the case continues in January. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Perry Sound.